Hello and welcome back to the history of sport and in today's video I will be answering the question how did the North London derby start? Being a Tottenham fan the first thing you hear about Arsenal is that they are Tottenham's biggest rivals. It is without a doubt that the North London derby is the most explosive game I've ever been to with the passion of both sets of fans very clear to see. So in today's video I will be going back to the start of the rivalry to understand how it began. Since the very beginning Tottenham have always been located in North London so you might be thinking where do Arsenal come into the story? Arsenal were originally located in Woolwich, South London, which wasn't the ideal location for a football stadium as they'd only receive 11,000 fans on match days. Whereas Tottenham in North London frequently had up to 50,000 fans at White Hart Lane on match days. As a result of the lack of fans, Arsenal soon hit financial difficulty and filed for bankruptcy in 1910. As a result, what would become the oldest footballing rivalry was about to be started by one man and he didn't even play football. But who was this one man I hear you ask? Well, his name was Sir Henry Norris. Sir Henry Norris's big plan was to move Arsenal to North London to try and attract the crowds that Tottenham quite frequently did. So as a result, he bought some land off the church commissioners and decided to build Arsenal's stadium, Highbury Park. Tottenham, as well as other local clubs, protested the move. Proximity wasn't the only reason for the rivalry, with local papers stating that there was too many teams already in North London. The hatred between both clubs started after World War I. After World War I, it was announced that the top tier of English football would be expanded from 20 to 22 teams, meaning that two new spots were available to get into the top tier of English football. In order to decide who got promoted into the top tier of English football, they used the 1914-15 league table as a reference after football had been abandoned due to the outbreak of World War I. Chelsea finished 19th and were able to keep their spot. Preston and Derby were able to come up into the 1st Division as they finished 1st and 2nd in the 2nd Division. However, that left one spot still available. It was decided that a voting system would dictate who would get the final position in the 1st Division. The voting system included Tottenham who finished last in the 1st Division all the way down to the team that finished 7th in the 2nd Division. Even though Arsenal finished 6th in the 2nd Division, Sir Henry Norris wasted no time to get them that final spot in the 1st Division. However, this was incredibly unfair on Tottenham as they got relegated and other teams missed the opportunity to be promoted to the first division. However, there is some evidence that his methods to get Arsenal into the first division were completely unethical. For example, there is some evidence that he may have bribed the Football Association at the time. Whether it was illegal or not, Sir Henry Norris used his connections to get Tottenham relegated to the second division. And that is what set alight the rivalry between Tottenham and Arsenal. And after that, Tottenham and Arsenal fought with newfound ferocity after Arsenal robbed Tottenham of their place in the first division. If you've liked today's video then please like, share and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of this video. Thank you.